Normalizing a camera in After Effects is the process of making everything a good size relative to your composition. That way, when you bring in new assets or 3D assets into a 3D camera track scene, everything comes into a reasonable spot on the world origin. You can normalize a 3D camera track in After Effects manually, but there's a great plugin by Element Supply Company that makes this almost one click. First, let's set up our tracking scene. Here I have a 3D camera track and I need to set the origin and ground plane. So I will scrub through my footage and I think this spot on the sidewalk will be a good spot for the ground plane and origin. I selected three tracking points, right click, set ground plane and origin. Then right click the exact same spot, right click, create solid in camera. Click on this solid and name it ground. This is important for the normalize plugin to work. Now I can create other solids and elements in the scene before normalizing it. Click the footage again, then your 3D camera tracker, right click, create solid, right click, create solid. Anywhere that you want something to be tracked, perhaps on this door, right click, create solid. Now I have a number, now I have a number of objects in my 3D camera track that I want to normalize. Go to a browser under Element Supply, Product Scripts, Normalize Track. You can get this product by clicking buy and downloading the plugin. Once you have the plugin on your computer, you can either install the plugin so you have it all the time when you use After Effects, or if you're on a computer that you can't install plugins, you can just run the script file every time you need it. This is especially helpful in university environments where you may not have administrative control of your computer. To install the script file, go to File, Scripts, Install Script File, and navigate to where your script file is. After you have installed it, it will show up in Window at the bottom. If you can't install a script file, go to File, Scripts, Run Script File, navigate to where the normalized track.jsx file is, then click Open. The downside of this way is you can't dock the panel since it has to run every time, but you still get full functionality. If you look at the script file, this has the normalize track button. This has normalize new layers and remove layers and a handy help guide. One of the big benefits of using this amazing plugin is that after you normalize the track, you can add and subtract new elements. If you do it the manual way, this is not possible because all the tracking and scale data is lost but in the normalized track plugin, this is saved in a null object. Let's see how it works. Before normalizing everything, it can be a good idea to make your ground plane nice and square with your scene. Once this is done, then select everything that will be in the normalized camera track, select normalize. As simple as that. You can see down here, it has the original base. That way, if we create a new null object or a new solid, it will track fine. Let's see how this works. If I bring in a piece of footage and then I click 3D layer, it will be placed right in the center of the normalized layer. So all of this happened automatically. This particular footage is an explosion, so it's anchor points on the ground. To fix that, twirl it out. Under transform, you'll see the anchor point. Just make it 1080 or the equivalent lower part of your footage and it will work fine. As you can see, everything is normalized automatically with one click. This is the way to go about normalizing 3D footage in After Effects using the great free plugin from Elemental Supply Company.